Today, we're going to do my take on a chicken Kiev. Sounds pretty fancy, right? Looks fancy for sure, but it's not difficult to do at all. Would you like to learn how to do it, boys and girls? Come on, follow me in the kitchen. Okay, so, uh, I didn't have the recording on, so you didn't hear anything that I said. So, um, first thing that you want to do is get some butter, some garlic with parsley, and some room temperature butter. You want to cut it up real fine, smash it and crash it and everything else, mix it in the butter, stick it in the fridge until the butter gets hard, all right? Then you want to flatten out a chicken breast. You can use a rolling pin, you can use a, you can use a can of garbanzo beans or whatever. I wouldn't recommend doing anything uh, glass, but you want to get that flat uh, so that it lays completely flat because you're going to take that butter and you're going to stick it just on the inside and you're going to wrap that butter up in there and try to seal it so none of that butter seeps out. Now, it's easier if you have some saran wrap, which I do not have. But I do have some aluminum foil and I've, I've wrapped this up already. Kind of about inside here is, a, is the other part of that butter. And the goal is to wrap that up so that butter does not leak out. And we're going to stick this in the freezer for about 20 minutes. We're going to take the wrap off, and then we're going to take it to the next step. All right? Stay with me. Okay, while you're waiting for your, uh, your, your uh, chicken to, to firm up a little bit in the freezer, uh, remember, about 15, 20 minutes max. You don't, you're not trying to refreeze it. Uh, but I went ahead and crushed up where I cracked one egg, put in some salt, pepper, and some sazon in here. And that's uh, just beating that egg in there now. And then you also want to get some panko crumbs and season them as well. And I season these with uh, salt, pepper, and sazon as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the chicken out of the freezer. We're going to coat it in flour, dip it in the egg mixture or the, uh, in the egg with the, with the seasoning, then we're going to take that and we're going to dip it in the panko breadcrumbs and then we're going to fry that and stick it in the oven. I'm going to preheat my oven to about 425 degrees. Actually, I'm going to do 450. I want that nice and hot. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to cook that chicken longer than I have to. Uh, but I want that heat in there so that it does, in fact, get done all the way through. Okay, while I'm waiting for that chicken to firm up in the freezer, I'm going to go ahead and start preheating my skillet. I'm just going to put a little oil in there. I'm using olive oil. Just put enough in there so that uh, those breadcrumbs get the nice little crisp on there. And we're only going to brown it in the skillet. And then we're going to stick it in the oven so it finishes in there. Uh, also, go ahead and put on your pot of potatoes. Cut them up small. They boil faster. <clears throat> but we're going to have uh, mashed potatoes with the uh, chicken Kiev served right on top of it. Should be really pretty. Should taste wonderful. Okay, I just took the chicken out of the freezer. We're going to take it. I'm going to coat it in flour. Just going to pop this out on here. So try not to make too much of a mess. Now, why did we put it in the in the freezer? I want the shake to hold uh, so that I can get a good sear on there before the butter has a chance to to leak out. Now we've got it coated in flour all the way around, all the way around. We're going to dip it in the egg. Come on, come on, cooperate, cooperate, and then we're going to dip it in the panko breadcrumbs. And I can already tell my thing has come unraveled. Uh, so if that's the case, no big deal. There's just There just won't be a pocket of butter in there, but you will still get that flavor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the pan 
with the flap side down first in hopes that we could still seal that butter inside there. And that's really what this is all about, just trying to keep that butter in there and still make it pretty. I want a little more on top there. All right, we're going in. And I don't think it's going to work, but, you know, when you're making stuff for the very first time, don't beat yourself up if it doesn't come out exactly like you wanted it to. It's your first time making it. My downfall on this one, I already know, uh, initially I cut the breast in half because uh, I thought it was too big. Well, when I did that, I didn't leave myself enough chicken to flap over to make sure that that butter stays sealed on the inside. And so I'm left now with a smaller piece of chicken trying to keep that butter in there and hope it doesn't leak out. If it does, oh well, I'll fix it on the next time. You do the same thing. Don't beat yourself up. My potatoes are still going. We're going to flip this over in a minute. And uh, let's see if our butter is still intact. Okay, as you can see, I put that other piece in there as well. We're going to take these out now. I already flipped them. We're going to take it out. No, they are not done. I just want it to crisp on the outside. We're going to set that on that tray there. I'll take this one out. I'll set that one in there. Now they're going to go in the oven. 450 degrees, about 15, 20 minutes. And then we'll be right back. Okay, I wasn't going to show you this part because I figured everybody knows how to boil potatoes, but maybe you don't. So I've been boiling these potatoes for about 25 minutes or so, and now they're nice and soft. I poured off most of the water. I want a little bit left in there, and I want to take my potato masher, and I want to mash them down, turn the fire off. I'm going to mash them down. I leave the skin on. These are uh, the baby Dutch yellow potatoes uh, that I love so much. Found a really good deal on these at a farmer's market the other day. So I ended up getting twice as much as I normally get. Now, it's pretty dry in there. Now I can do a couple things. I can add some cream or some, some milk, which I may do, but guess what? I got that fancy butter that we spent all that time making earlier. I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to drop it right in there. I still may use just a little touch of milk or so. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just going to grab just a little splash of milk. Not much. Just enough to keep it nice and loose. You don't want soupy mashed potatoes. But you want some with a little texture that's stiff enough to hold up your your, uh, your chicken Kiev because it's going to go right on top of it. Now all that butter that was filled with the parsley and the garlic inside of it has just melted and is now inside your potatoes. So you're going to get nice color and flavor. That's done. We're just waiting for uh, the chicken to get done, and we can plate, and then we can eat. I'm going to put just a splash more of milk in there. Let's suck that up pretty good. Just a splash. Because this is going to be sitting for about another three or four minutes. And I want that flavor to really get infused inside of the potatoes. And while we're waiting for uh, that chicken to get done, those flavors are coming together quite nicely. So I'm just going to put the lid on top of that. Yeah, I hope you guys aren't still making mashed potatoes out of the box either. So, alright, we'll be right back. We're going to pull the chicken out and we're going to plate. Okay, so I'm just plating now. I found some zucchini in the refrigerator, so I just 
threw them on the plate because I needed a vegetable. We've got the potatoes on there. Actually, I think I'm going to want just a little more potatoes because those potatoes look amazing. Just a little. And then we're going to grab our chicken Kiev. I use a smaller one because it looked prettier than the bigger one. And that butter is still inside of there. And that's it. And chicken Kiev. Uh, I think we'll see what happens. Uh, it's not enough. Oh, I want some more color. Well, you guys know I'm, I love color. And let's see. I don't know why I want a piece of lemon on there, but I do. I actually want a couple pieces. Maybe just for color or something. I don't know. But look at that. Bingo. Bingo. Chicken Kiev. Sort of. Kind of. Not bad for the first time. Thanks for joining me, folks. I'll see you next time on Real Fast Food.